Hello, my dears and my darlings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. This is going to be a message for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. I will be labeling it as a message for December 15th because I'm posting it in time for the 15th. But as I said, you may be in a much different time zone, different date zone, or you might not see it for a few weeks or months. So I'm setting the intention to be a message for the next 24 hours from whenever you see it. Happy birthday to all the December 15th babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever day you may stumble upon this video. The card of the day or the card for the next 24 hours is the High Priestess. This is a major arcana card. Major arcana cards are going to come up when it's a defining time in our life. It's like we're coming into a significant crossroads. The things that we're dealing with, the things that are going on are directly connected to what we came here to learn, what we came here to master. Uh, so they're like little uh, destined times in our life. We have a lot of free will. We have a lot of wiggle room. Uh, but there are certain things we're meant to learn or accomplish. And so the major arcana cards tell us we're coming into one of those periods. That being said, major arcana energy is very big. And it's not going to be wrapped up in a 24-hour period of time. The things that are happening in the next 24 hours may be setting um, a series of events in motion. If you have Pisces or Taurus placements, there could be big changes and big shifts happening for you in those houses and in those areas of your life. If you are a Pisces or a Taurus um, sun, there could be here a time that you're really, really coming into your authenticity. Uh, you're taking back your power. Uh, you're living your best life unapologetically, unconcerned with the thoughts and opinions of others. And just coming into a time of being your true self and loving yourself, all of yourself. Owning every aspect of yourself in your journey and not having any shame for anything that has made you uh, the person that you are today. So it can be very powerful energy in that way in my readings. Now, astrology aside or uh, zodiac signs aside, high priestess is very powerful energy, very intuitive energy. And sometimes she comes up to let us know that we're coming into a time that our intuition is really increasing. We're coming into a time in which our intuition is going to be on point, okay? And it's it's a card in which we have a lot of the answers inside of ourselves. Uh, we are not looking outside for confirmation. We're not looking outside for uh, somebody like to uh, give us uh, reassurance about something. Like we know the truth within ourselves and we're uh, doing the things we're guided to do. It's it's a card of, in, of extreme intuition and spiritual connection. Uh, now, for me, in my readings over the years, I see the high priestess come up a lot of the time when we're coming into a very high level of healing, okay? And so we're coming into a very high level of healing where our chakras are nice and cleared and aligned and running on full cylinders, and we're very connected to God, universe, higher self. We become a very clear uh, uh, being and we're very connected. And so we have this beautiful, powerful energy flowing through us. And this makes us incredibly magnetic. Okay. So you may be coming into a time where you're attracting a lot of attention. A lot of people wanting to be near you. Complete strangers, right? It could be complete strangers on the bus next to you or at the grocery store telling you their life story. Uh, people wanting to collaborate with you, be friends with you. People very persistently pursuing you romantically or trying to pull you into bed. Um, I see it happen so much with this card because you have this uh, very delicious energy flowing through your body. And so it's going to be very enticing and very magnetic uh, to all kinds of people who are wounded, uh, who are going through issues, who have things they haven't healed yet. And oftentimes, a lot of the people that are so persistently chasing after you, 
it's like they're afraid to do their own work. They're afraid to face their demons. So they want to latch on to you. They want to court you. They want to, you know, tap into this energy that you have and really, really feed off of your energy. And um, and it feels really good in the beginning because it's such intense chemistry, intense chemistry. But after a while, what happens is the high priestess person starts to get depleted, starts to like you start to feel the effects of being energetically fed on and it's very draining it's very exhausting it leads to sadness and longing and that wonderful beautiful energy that you had you just start to come down and so when this card comes up for me in my readings it's letting me know that you need to uh have really strong energetic boundaries in place uh not everybody who wants you gets to have you that's what you need to learn, or that's what we do learn when we're in the high priestess energy, that persistence doesn't equal readiness, and that sometimes people will pursue you without really fully understanding who or what you are. They're not even ready for you. When you're in this high priestess energy, you're like a candle in a dark room, and the moths are just rushing at you, okay? They're just rushing at you. Uh, mesmerized by this light but they have no idea what you are or why they're rushing towards you and it can end disastrously for the moth and for the candle and so there's this sense here that we're gonna learn we're gonna learn to uh kind of see through or weed through these people that are uh, very very uh, pulled towards us and one of the things you'll notice and you'll see is you'll be getting all kinds of attention you're like what in the heck like I haven't changed anything about myself I'm the same person uh, that I was last week or last month or last year well but all of a sudden I didn't get dressed up or anything and all of a sudden like I'm getting all this attention you'll be getting attention you'll be getting people drawing near you but you're gonna learn you're gonna learn uh, to kind of take a step back and observe and see out of these people who are coming at you, who's doing their work and who isn't, you know, who's, who's, um, who's in a self-destructive pattern, uh, and who isn't, uh, who's in a stagnant pattern and who isn't, uh, you're going to start to, to be able to tell like, uh, the difference between someone who's looking to cord you and feed off of you energetically and somebody who is a fellow high priestess or someone who is in a, a similar energy. You're going to learn to weed through and to be able to tell that. But like I said, one of the biggest lessons we learn when we're in high priestess energy is that not everybody who wants us gets to have us. But this is very, very, very beautiful energy, very spiritual, very intuitive, very healing, at least in my opinion, and uh, uh, powerful, very powerful energy. Also, I would say on the other hand, another thing that sometimes we can learn when we're in high priestess energy is to not misuse that energy, okay? Not to misuse that energy. Um, but you may be stepping into your spiritual gifts in a really big way, whether or not you are doing anything with them in terms of, uh, social media or business. It's it just an aspect of yourself in your daily life. You may be stepping into these uh, gifts in a big way. Uh, don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts. If you haven't already, there's a link in the description where you can watch those. Um, also a link in the description to watch love readings for December. And if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite. And you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous day ahead. And I hope you'll come back and check out tomorrow's message. Take care and be well, my darlings. Bye.